and another e-bike battery has come my way it's exactly the same as the last one I did a shark type I believe right. uh, nothing you press the switch as usual first port of call literally first port let's just check to see if it's got any output voltage yet nada that's the preliminary check done I can't do any more from the outside I'll have to take it apart I'm really hoping I don't find a dead pack uh, not a dead pack 49 volts so this has probably got a BMS issue or one of these banks are dead this BMS doesn't it's not passing any current so that's my suspect I'm going to see if I can get the value of the independent cell groups here if it's all possible measured all of these 3.85 apart from two suspects this bank and this bank marked in red what I plan to do for now is to manually balance the packs of bringing these groups up if possible switch on yeah so we have 50 volts on the output. Now, is this going to charge? Okay, so, no current. Does have to be switched off to charge? So, look. It's switched off on the battery. But, but no charging. Mess not allowing charging. I'm going to put a load on this. Can, can I get that in shot? It's through the discharge port. Two eyes coming off it. And it's not discharging. Why? I've left it just with a little red meter connected. And this one across the main voltage on the output plug attempt to do this again ah see that so it will just drop to zero as soon as I apply the load to it looks like an overcurrent protection still showing us not charging ah. Thought it got away with it, but obviously the BMS won't allow charging. The new BMS has arrived, and of course, it's different to the original. This should be a better quality one. The balance wire connector is different as well, so I'm going to have to change that. As always, there are some unforeseen problems. The new BMS won't fit where the original one did in there, so we had to put it on top. Pull the finger. Luckily, there's some room there. Plug the charger in. It's on a green light at the moment. red on the charger and you see the meter's gone up as well charger says full there's green lights on that 
Now I'll leave that until tomorrow and try a discharge test. This is the full pack voltage. This is the ammeter per current. 53 volts total. Same for about 10, 11 amps. Let's see if this BMS works. 9.6 amps. Let's leave it at that. Happy with that. Should have been running for about half an hour. Construct to which is under 9 amp. The voltage is 45.7. I think we can terminate the test there. That's it, mostly back together. I just need to put the screws in there now. You have to be careful and put this back together, not to pinch any cables and not to obstruct the um, screw holes, etc. That's all the screws in place. I've got a gauge on this. Good. Now I'll try a charge and a discharge, as soon as it's fully assembled. Just make sure everything's okay before I send it back. So in conclusion, what have I done to this? I had to manually balance some of the cells, uh, test and find out that the BMS didn't work, either charging or discharging. I just got a new BMS and installed it in a different place. It's gone here instead of there. Extended some wires and changed the connector. If you found that useful or interesting in any way, feel free to give me thumbs down, thumbs up and a kebab. Mmm, kebab.